Okay, I'm going to go over my setup, how I have my Sony Handycam Video 8 uh, player recorder set up to convert from analog to digital using the HTML uh, Cloner Box Pro. Um, first of all, you have to have your old tape player powered up. I had to use this adapter which gives direct power to it because the batteries went to it you know, ages ago. This is a 20 three or four year old tape player so hopefully your old tape player works to begin with so you have to you know have you put your tape in there rewind it all the way back to the beginning manually on this one it, I put the push this down and power it on so it's ready to go I have a remote here to control it and that actually still works as far as connecting it you have to connect three things you have to connect um, the HTML cloner box has a right and a left audio but the camera has an output for a mono audio. So I have this converter which converts uh, left and right into, into mono. So that just plugs into my audio connector. Okay. And then video is yellow. It just plugs into the video connector. So that's your connection that goes over to your HTML cloner box. And this cable uh, connects to this cable that goes into the cloner box. So just white to white, red to red, yellow to yellow. And this goes back into this multi-connector, which goes in the back of the HTML cloner box. It goes into this middle connector, this multi-connector. The one that also has your composite and your um, uh, RCA jack for your computer. Now, the other connector I have plugged in is this HDMI cable, which I just had plugged into a monitor right here. So that way I could see what's recording and I can see the display of how much is times left and... Um, how much the tape is left. Um, the only other thing you have plugged in here is you've got your uh, thumb drive. So I have a 64 gigabyte thumb drive. Uh, generally it's nine or so gigabytes of video for a two hour tape um, at uh, 720p and at aspect ratio of four to three. Um, the only other thing you have plugged in is your uh, power cable here. This is your uh, power adapter plugs in with a wall wart that comes with the cloner box pro and that just plugs in to the back of there the uh, the buttons you got on the front here are your um, start stop button your source button and your on off button it also comes with a remote so on the remote you've got to, the most important things you got on the remote are your aspect ratio so for these tapes are all four to three so you got to make sure you put it in four to three uh, not 16 by 9 and then you've got your two choices for 720p or 1080p so um, I always choose uh, 720p for these tapes because that's all it really needs first thing you do is you push and hold the power button right here push and hold for three seconds and you see the light come on the lights on and you see in a second here that it'll actually power up the screen here and you'll actually be able to see so it starts flashing. It's basically reading the thumb drive, powering up, and then um, I am going to hit that. Right now I can turn the display from my recorder on and off using that. Oh, let's turn it back on again. Oops. Come on, Larry. There we go. Turns the display on. Right now it's on green, so it's ready to go. As far as on the screen right here, you can see it's... Uh, says it's uh, connected to AV NTSC. Um, that's ready to go. I can hit the, the button on here to change it to 720p. And oops, got to do it like this so it, sh it shows it on the screen because there you go. Now you can see what it says 1280 by 720, 60 hertz. So we got that right. So we're all connected, ready to go. So all we have to do now is hit play on the recorder and once it shows up on the screen, we hit this record button right here, and it should start recording right again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. I'm just going to hit play on my remote. As soon as it shows up on the screen, it starts to play. Now I hit the, I hit the record button, and now it starts flashing. Now it starts flashing green. It tells me that I'm recording in 720p. But I did something wrong. It's in widescreen. So I've got to stop. I've got to stop. I'm going to stop my recorder here, and I've got to switch it to 4 to 3. Oops, I'm going to turn, turn it like this. Change it to 4 to 3.
we're going to hit play again. Now it's recording at 4 to 3. I just forgot to hit 4 to 3. So now we hit record on here. Start flashing green again. Now I'm in 4 to 3. Correct aspect ratio. I can hit my display button on here to turn that on and off. And then we've got the, uh, the recording in 720p. And you can see, I don't know if you can see on this monitor very well, and I'll put like an actual, this actual recording at the end of the video so you can actually see how good it is. But it records. So basically what you got to remember is that these tapes are two hours long. And if you just let it sit and play, this thing will just keep recording for hours and hours and keep creating two gigabyte files. You've got to come back in two hours when the tape has stopped playing. That's why it's important to have a monitor going. So you can see when the tapes stop playing, you come back, hit stop, hit stop on your player, and then you're finished. After that, you just pull your thumb drive out here. It's got all your two gigabyte files. Make sure that when you hit stop, this stops flashing. You want this to be solid green. Give it a couple seconds. Give it 10 or 15 seconds to rewrite the files and then pull your thumb drive out, stick it in the computer, and check your files. And that's pretty much it. It's actually very simple and it works great. You don't need a computer. All you need is just your player, the HTML Cloner Box Pro, and a monitor, and you can create awesome digital files from your analog video. And one cool thing about the HTML Cloner Box Pro versus the HTML Cloner is that it comes with a remote and you can you got on-screen menus that you can scroll through. So I'm just going to show you real quickly uh, how to get to the menus and some of the things that they do. I'm not going to go into detail in the different menus. And I'll show you how you can play back from, uh, from your you know, files on your thumb drive through the device out to your monitor. So of course I've got this hooked up to my monitor and you just hit this button right here, it's called home. Oops, gotta be pointed at the at the device home home. And this comes up on the screen. So you've got uh, four different screens. You can see at the bottom when I click back and forth, it scrolls through the different uh, choices. So I'll start over here to the left. So these are your first four choices, system time, system, system scheduling, bit rate, firmware update, then you've got picture mode, color, temperature, aspect ratio. Then you've got your sound changes. You can change your sound modes. And then you've got OSD language, uh, restore factory defaults, OSD transparency, OSD duration, and then the firmware version. So those are the basic menus that you can go through to change some of your settings right there on the screen. The, the most important one you want to do from the beginning probably is change your system time. Just change that to your current time and um, hit the, when you're done, when the menus, you just hit this button right there, it brings you back to, brings you back to the exits from the menu. So the one other cool thing you have got you can do with this remote is that you can play back files that are actually on your uh, thumb drive. So you basically just hit this button called playback, hit that right there, and it comes up with this screen that lets you play back different types of file types. We're gonna go over to the right till we hit film, and it's gonna be one from your, it says C, but that's basically your thumb drive there. I'm going to choose one of my video files that I recorded recently. So I'm going to choose that video file. As soon as I roll over it, it'll start playing in a small window here in a second. But if you want to watch it in the big screen, you can hit um, this play button right here. So you hit play, and it plays it in full screen. And if you want to see uh, controls for the menus, you hit OK on the screen. And then it'll give you some controls. So you can fast forward. You can, you can fast forward and rewind and go to the next one. And then you can also hit stop. So I'm just gonna hit stop right here. And then get, to get out, you just hit the uh, return, return button here. And that brings you back out to the main menu. And that's basically the quick and dirty method of using the uh, uh, remote uh, with the HTML Cloner Box Pro. Day of sailing. 